six years ago, I had six students in my resource room math class. This last school year, I had three times that amount, reaching 18 students with varying disabilities in one of my classes. With this simple statistic, I found that my classroom was growing exponentially and becoming more diverse with learning needs, physical needs, and social emotional needs. As educators, we are faced with the challenge of teaching every single student that walks into our classroom. And with the learning needs that we see today, we must get creative with our teaching strategies. I am excited to share with you guys a four minute crash course of a model of instruction that myself and my teaching partner, Keegan Ferris, developed in order to meet the needs of every single student in our general education Algebra 2 classroom. The self-paced classroom. This is a model of instruction where students take ownership of their learning in the blended format. Students are provided a well-rounded, yet technology-driven classroom experience. The weekly agenda consists of three video or live lessons, one station review activity day, and one assessment day. Let's talk about the lesson delivery. Monday through Wednesday, students are awarded the opportunity to learn from a video instruction or live instruction. They are also asked to complete a Google form reflection where they're rating their understanding of the material using success criteria. For students choosing video lesson, they are seated towards the back of the classroom in flexible seating, watching the lesson independently on their device. Videos are created using Edpuzzle with guided questions throughout and self-reflection at the end. For students choosing live lesson, they are seated towards the front of the classroom, receiving traditional classroom lecture from the educator. This allows for further differentiation, closer one-on-one -on -one attention, and smaller groups for those who need it. The model gets its title self-paced because students get to choose when and where they complete their lessons. All three videos are posted at the beginning of the week, and students may choose to work on one at a time, or all three in one day. They may even choose to work on other course assignments during our math hour if they need to. And that's 100% encouraged when necessary for the student's personal schedule. On the fourth day of the week, typically Thursdays, all of the video instruction and accompanying assignments are due in order for the student to participate in a full class activity. Sometimes these activities include individualized Khan Academy assignments, sometimes Desmos assignments, or the students also like to create flip books with colored paper for math, vocab, properties, um, and formula practice in order to prepare themselves for Friday's assessment. Because on the last day of the week, everyone participates in an assessment of some kind in class. Yes, I give traditional tests and quizzes from time to time, but my personal favorite assessment to facilitate is project-based, where students create content to teach their peers. Examples of this include Screencastify videos or maybe a Flipgrid classroom that can then be shared out with a greater audience. You may even implement uh, inclusion strategies at this time, pairing a higher achieving student with maybe a lower achieving student in order to encourage peer tutoring. So you may have a few questions, like number one, how do you get through all of the curriculum in three lessons per week? You guys, pick out the essential standards that are most important for your future concept building. And number two, how do you hold students accountable? Well, at the beginning of each semester, the students agree to a grade expectation. Students with a 70% or higher get the privilege of self-pacing. We've found that this really incentivizes our model. The self-paced classroom has refreshed the outlook that students have on the traditional brick and mortar education. We've found that it decreases stress levels while increasing skills of independence, time management, organization, and I have found 
that this truly has revolutionized my ability to teach every single learner that walks into my classroom.